Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this video is a part of my capstone project for the Civic Scholars Program here at UM. I decided to create a video series guide for international students who are looking to come to university in the US. And this video is the day in the life of a University of Miami student. So you guys are gonna be able to see just my typical daily routine. Not every single day looks like this because every day my schedule is a little bit different, but this is a pretty good synopsis of what a day in the life of a student going to the University of Miami looks like. And I hope that you guys can use this to kind of judge how your life would be like if you decided to come here or if you decide to go to any university in the US. And so I hope you enjoy the video and I hope it's super helpful and enjoyable for you guys to watch. Um, 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 um. So I usually wake up every morning around 8.30 or 9 a.m. depending on what my first class is. And I live in the University Village, so I have a room to myself and a full-size bed, which is really nice. I live with three other roommates who are my close friends, and we share a kitchen and two bathrooms. Here I am getting ready. I obviously have to make my bed every single morning because just one little tiny thing that makes me feel so put together. But I usually get ready pretty fast, to be honest, because I always wake up right before my first class. It's a little chilly today, which is super unusual because we live in Miami, but I think I'm going to wear a long sleeve with my jeans. So I just finished getting ready. My shirt is from Bershka. My jeans are from Zara and I'm wearing platform Converse. My backpack. Um, I also just made a little sandwich for in between two of my classes because I usually get hungry, but I don't have time for lunch quite yet. Also, can't forget a mask. I have a little thing holding them all right next to my door, so I never forget one. Let's go. And then I start my walk to my first class of the day. It's honestly kind of a long walk because I live in the UV, which is on campus, but it's in the very edge of campus. But we do have a shuttle system that takes us to the middle of campus. However, this class that I had was kind of in an area where I had to walk to it. But the good thing about Miami is wherever you walk, um, there's always pretty scenery. So I got to look at the palm trees, take a walk to my first class, which is my romantic relationships class. It is a psychology course. So I'm about to go into my first class. I apologize for the noise. I'm like right next to the road. But unfortunately, I can't really film in there. It's like a small class, which is kind of weird but it is in the Flipsy building and I'll show you what I can. Flipsy is a building that has mostly psychology courses in it. It's on Ponce de Leon right next to the medical center. So in case you were wondering, here I can't get the door open, nice one. But what I really like about this class is that it's in person, first of all, and also it's not that big of a class. So we can ask the professor a lot of questions and I also just love the subject. It's a romantic relationships class. That's so really interesting. After that class is over, I got on the shuttle that takes you from Flipsy to the middle of campus because I had to do some studying and my next classes are here. Usually I have a class right after this one that's online, but it got canceled for this day. So I walked around. I found a fun spot in the sun because I just love the sun. And I sat there for a little bit. It was amazing weather this day, which was super, super nice. And then I found a spot to study on campus. I love studying on campus when it's nice weather out, but when it's too hot, I literally cannot bear the thought. I always go inside when it's too hot out. But here I am getting some work done before my next class. And I look miserable as always. <laughs> I might have to move because my laptop is literally overheating because the sun is on it. Um, follow me on Instagram. Here I am doing some more work. The problem with me is whenever I sit outside anywhere near other people, I always get distracted because I'm always just so curious to know what everyone else is talking about. And I'm always trying to avoid doing my work. So that's not a great thing, but I'm working on it. After I finished doing some work, I started walking to my next class, which is my introduction to electronic media production class. It's a bit of a mouthful. It's kind of a difficult course. It's in the comm school for my second major, 
but I learn a lot. I will say that. Like, I've learned so much in this class. That clip, by the way, is from another day of class. I didn't film this day, but that's what the class looks like every day. So, anyway, here's our white picket fence and our beautiful campus. Once again, you might be so pretty. I just came back home. I was planning on staying on campus longer and just studying in the library or something, but I just got so tired during my last class. I was like, I don't... I don't care anymore, I need to go home. So I got a sandwich at Tossed in the food court. Again, I could have stayed on campus, but I just really needed to lay down in my bed. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, eat my food, probably watch some Netflix, not gonna lie. And then I'm gonna get started on my work for the day. After this class that I just finished, I only have one more class, but it's at 7.40 p.m. So I have a big like five hour break where I usually just like rest and do work and just make dinner, hang out. So we'll see what I do today. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I took a break for maybe, maybe a little bit too long. It's 6 p.m. And I've been literally just laying right there, contemplating life and watching Netflix and relaxing, which to an extent I think I needed. I was really tired today. I've just been really tired recently, but also it's time to get my life together a little bit. I also realized I haven't seen like a single one of my friends today, which is not normal. I normally run into them at one point, which makes my day a lot more interesting, but I have no idea where my roommates are. They all have busy schedules, so hopefully I run into them at one point tonight. So at this point in the day, I finally started actually getting some work done. I love agendas so much, the only thing that's gotten me through college, honestly. I write everything down every single day, and then I know what I have to do, and then sometimes I do it, and sometimes I don't, if we're being honest. <laughs> but here I was just planning the rest of my evening before getting on to my next class. This class is called Multiculturalism in Psychology. It's obviously one of my psychology courses. It's a discussion-based course, which I've honestly really, really enjoyed because you get to hear so much about other people's life experiences in the class, and I get to share a lot about myself as well. What's really unfortunate about this course, though, is that it's from 7.40 p.m. to 9 p.m., so by the time it's over, I'm absolutely exhausted. After I finished the course, I started making some dinner. This is one of those meals that's kind of comes from whatever you have left in your pantry and in your fridge, so it's Pretty basic, not gonna lie. So I'm about to try my pasta. It's literally the most basic thing ever because I have legit nothing left in my fridge. I really need to go grocery shopping. It's pretty good. It's literally just pasta, marinara sauce from a jar, and Parmesan cheese. Cheers. It's time to go to bed. I hope that video was fun to watch and also very informative at the same time. Please feel free to leave any questions or concerns or comments down below and if I can, I will do my best to answer them. Also stay tuned for the next two parts of this video series that will be uploaded very soon. Those two parts are going to be words of advice from international students who are currently going to UM as well as a guide to Miami for students in general. Again, I hope that this was helpful for you. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you found it useful in any way and stay tuned for the rest of this project. <laughs>